Okay, I want to discuss patch parameter editing, which is in essence um, controlling the pull locations and the edge flows given a particular patch boundary condition and the poles within it. Okay, so here is this patch and its most simple solution. And this pole location topologically is the only solution for having a single five pole in this patch. Um, and hopefully I can convince you of that by thinking of this pole as a flow diverter. Okay, so flow that comes in on this side of the pole gets directed to the eight side, and flow that comes in on the other side gets directed to the 13 side. So if we want to move this pole, we are gonna be diverting more flow to the eight side and less flow to the 13 side. So if we want to maintain our boundary conditions, there's no way to do that unless we can divert some other flow. And the only way to divert flows is with additional poles. So if we want a single pole solution, this is the only spot. Okay, however, if we switch to a more complicated solution that has more poles, then we can do more things. Okay, and the first one that I'll demonstrate is exchanging flows for equivalent flows. Okay, so if we follow any flow that connects two sides is equivalent. So for example, this face loop here connects the 8 side to the 14 side. Any of these face loops, face loops over here connect the 8 side to the 14 side. So we can exchange face loops between these two poles for face loops that are outside of the patch template. So here's the pole here. Let's move it one, two, three face loops towards the boundary. Okay, and we can put it back. And we can actually move it all the way to the boundary if we want. Okay, so in this case, um, exchanging edge flows one for one with another parameter within the patch is very easy. Let's say though we wanted to move the whole patch downward. Okay, that would be removing flows from the bottom edge here. Um, there are no equivalent flows that go through the patch. So if we want to move it down, it's going to take flows away from this side, and you know it would be a very complex process to do that manually. However, the linear programming system that the authors proposed allows us to simply change this parameter, let the linear programming solve, and see if you can solve the other parameters and still keep the boundary conditions. Okay, so we will switch to, I missed it, P0, I missed it again. Okay, and decrease it. And sure enough, the whole patch does come down, but you can see that lots of other things are happening to compensate for that and maintain the boundary conditions. Um, when we push it back up, uh, strangely, the parameters which were adjusted to move the patch downward, some of them remain changed. So while we're only editing one parameter through user control, several parameters are changing, and it doesn't necessarily take the same path backwards as it did on its way towards getting the user targeted parameter. I hope that makes sense. Um, so we need to find a way to free some variables or some way to kind of reverse out user changes if they want to kind of go backwards. Um, certainly an undo system is good, um, but what we don't want is a user to come over here and edit this poll location, come back over here and try to edit, and then find that their work has been undone. Um, if that is in fact, you know, they put that poll there, they want it there. So finding an intuitive way to not frustrate the user while giving them a ton of control is going to be a big step in this development process. Okay, so this